So in this video, what we're going to do is take a very quick look at the iPad and get an overview of how it works. I'm only going to stick to the basics. So one of the first things you want to do on an iPad is turn it on. In order to do that, you're going to press the button down here, which is called the Home button. And then you're going to see a little slider on the bottom of the screen. It says Slide to Unlock. So I take my finger, I slide it over to the right, and I've now unlocked the iPad screen. Now you're going to notice a whole bunch of different icons or boxes on the iPad screen. These are called apps, or just short for applications. If I want to open up an app, all I do is I take the pad of my finger, not my fingernail, it's important, and I press with the pad of my finger on one of the apps. And there you go, it's going to open up the app. But when I'm finished, what I want to do is press the home button down here, and that exits the app. So all the apps work the same way. If I go into my Photos app, I press it, I can slide around, do whatever I want, and when I'm finished, I press on the Home button down here. Now, in certain apps, you may want to control the volume. Sometimes the volume might be too loud or too low. In order to do that, you're going to notice on the side of the iPad, I have a very long, elongated button. It's actually two buttons. If you press the top half of it, you can make the volume go up, and if you press the bottom half of it, you can make the volume go down. So you'll see on the screen as I do that, volume up, volume down. Another thing you can do on the iPad is you can lock the screen's rotation. And I'll explain what that is. If I pick up an iPad right now, the way I have it set up is that if I move the iPad like that, you're going to see it follows the way I'm holding it. So it changes the orientation of the iPad. That can be pretty useful, but it can also be pretty annoying. Sometimes you want to keep the iPad in a certain orientation because you don't want the bloody thing changing every time you pick it up. So the way that I set up my iPads is that there's a little switch over here on the side. You can either move that down or up. And let's see what happens on the screen when I do that. If I move it down, you're going to notice it shows a little circle with a lock. And that means no matter what I do to the iPad, it will no longer change the rotation. If I push the switch up, now it shows just a circle. And that means that if I move the iPad around, it will change the orientation. Great. So one of the last things we're going to take a look at on the iPad is that if you want to plug in headphones. So if you look over here on the top of the iPad, there's a little hole where you can plug in your headphones. You just stick it in there and done. You start hearing your sound through the headphones. On the bottom of the iPad, you have a little slot over here, and that's where you would charge the iPad. Now, in order to navigate around an iPad, what you can do is take your finger on the screen and brush it to the right or brush it to the left. Now, depending on the amount of apps you have installed, you'll have more screens available to you. Last but not least, if you'd like to turn off the iPad, all you need to do is look on the top over here and you're going to see the sleep wake button. If you give it a press, the iPad will turn off. If you press it again, the iPad will turn on. So there you go. That's pretty much the basics of how to use an iPad.